And welcome back, everybody. Welcome, everyone. This is Travis giving you part three of our JavaScript uh, image slider slash scroller, whatever you want to call it. And now we want to go ahead and style this so it looks really nice and pretty and all kinds of other things. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is where we left off at. Let's go into our uh, tech editor. And the first thing you want to do is you want to come to this heading section here. Right before the uh, where it ends the uh, head tag, you want to go ahead and put in a style. And then hit type equals text slash CSS. And you're ready to style. Give it some space here. And to style something, it depends on what it is. Uh, for example, if you want H1 tags to be styled, you just hit H1, you open and close your brackets, and then you type, you know, font, family, whatever, uh, you know, Arial, so on and so forth. And that's how you style. Or if it was the image tags, right, because we have images on here, you'd say IMG, just I image, open up, open and uh, click open and close curly braces and you just start styling you know maybe color equals whatever you know but if you want to reference something specifically that is why we have the IDs that we got here it wasn't just for the JavaScript it was also for CSS as well so for example our first thing is container so if I want to style that I get the number symbol container open and close uh, bra curly braces rather and then I can start styling whatever I want to style it with. Uh, first thing, I'm going to give it a background color. And I, I really, I forget the, it's not 55, 91, 40. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember the numbers. So let's go ahead and copy this. Control V. That will give us our background color. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. So it was 55 red, 90 blue, uh, green, and 140 blue. And you mix those together and you get this bluish type color that we got. Obviously, it's going to be more blue because there's a lot more blue value to it. Uh, this last one is A. It stands for alpha. I believe it stands for alpha. But it uh, basically means transparency. The higher the number, the less transparent it is. But if the lower the number, the more transparent it is. Uh, so that's kind of nice for some things. Uh, some things you do want to be transparent. And I put a little bit of transparency on here. Not too much. Let's see. I want to give this a width. I definitely want to find the width. Uh, let's say 300 pixels. Looks good to me. And overflow, I want to give it auto. Overflow is interesting. What overflow does is if, if there was too much um, text, like say for the description tag, for example, if you didn't have overflow on, it would just run along the container. It would look really horrible. So by putting overflow uh, on auto, it would automatically adjust itself. Uh, for the text, so it doesn't uh, flow outside of the uh, uh, image description tag and into the container. So it's always nice to have that. I think that's about it for that. I may add something, I don't know. Uh, let's go with image description. Oops, I put the number symbol. Um, image description. And for this one, I want to give it a border of, say, 2 pixels solid white. And that's the border that's surrounding everything. And if I were to just kind of save this real quick, let's we'll just go ahead and save it and kind of reload it. So I'll just go ahead and refresh it out of here. Hit reload. Uh, as you can see, we have our border here. We have our white border here um, and, and everything else. Now it looks really sloppy, and that's because there's still a few things we want to do. And in fact, I want to move this image over so it looks a little more centered, as well as uh, do something with these previous and next, and maybe change some fonts here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so continuing along with the image description, I'm going to say font, family, and I want Tahoma. You certainly can pick whatever you want. Font size, oh, let's say... 20 pixels. That sounds about right. Let's see. And I want to be able to do the photos at photo slider. Is a few 
recall the photo slider is right here. It's what I named the uh, images there. Uh, images ID photo slider. There it is. So let's see. I want to give this one's kind of interesting. I'm going to give it a margin left. Uh, that way I could sit there, center this a little bit more. And I'm going to say uh, 20 pixels. I'm, I'm probably way off, but we'll see. And I want to give it a margin top. Margin top. Let's say 8 pixels from the top. Let me hit save real quick. And let me hit reload. And you'll see exactly what happened. As you can see, I moved this description over. I changed the font of this. And everything looks a little bit better now. Um, and of course, everything still works. And I could have my mouse over here. And the slider will still continue to go. Because I told the browser how big I want that container. So that's really nice. Go ahead and moving right along here. In fact, let me go ahead and just open it up um, down below so you can see the changes happen kind of in real time. Okay, so we got our photo slider. Let's see. Let's go with. Uh, oh yes, our our next and our our excuse me, previous and next link. So prev link, and we want our next link. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, folks. There we go. Next link. Okay, um, these are going to be looking almost the same, except there's one thing I'm going to change from this. And you'll see what it is here in a moment. Um, font, family. Let's make this one Arial as well, I guess. Uh, or maybe I can kind of change it up. Let's do Comic Sans MS. Let's change it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's go with text decoration, none. And what text decoration is, is uh, if you see the how it's underlined, like look down here, you see how it's underlined? It's kind of hard to see, but all these are underlined right here. I don't want that. So that's what that does. It removes it. Let's see. I want the text to be yellow because I think that really stands out. And oh, let's do the font size. Let's say, I don't know, 18 pixels will work. Just kind of play along with this, folks, is all we're doing. And I think everything is about the same. I want to copy and paste this because I'm going to do the exact same thing to the next link. And there you have it. Now let me hit, uh, let me just kind of fix this a little bit. So it looks good. Let me hit save, and you'll see it in real time what just happened. The, uh, as you can see, the font family changed on this, and the color changed as well. Now, there's a little problem, though. The pre previous is right next to the next. Very simple fix. I go to my next tag, because it's the one I want to move, and I simply put a float value to it, and a float to the right. If I were to save that, bam, it floats all the way to the right, just what I want. The uh, only thing I want to change, I think, is the uh, description uh, font or color rather. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go with color. I don't know. We'll make it white. We we'll hit save, and now I have a white description here. Of course, you could make it green or you know violet, whatever color you want. And that's about it. That's uh, styling everything. Uh, I guess one other thing I can I can add here is a border, just to kind of really really uh, make it show out. I'll make this dashed and black. And there you go. There you have it, folks. Now, I'm going to show you kind of like, because I've been using test images and, t and test descriptions here. Let's put some real images in there, uh, just so you can kind of really see how nice this could really look. Because uh, you're kind of looking at it, what it would look like as a test version. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. Let's go to uh, my JavaScript code here. And you would simply just go to the images that you want to change. Uh, so if I want to change this image, I put my images folder. And I have a, a picture called, uh, uh, what is it called? I have a picture called Lazy Dog. I think that's what I named it, JPEG. And so if I were to save it, and you can see I got this dog picture in here now. But I'm just going to go ahead. I have something that's already pre-done. Here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this all right here. 
and I'm going to copy and paste something I already have done so I don't have to waste you guys' time a little bit here. So I'm going to hit copy. And let me go to wherever my array disappeared to here. There it is. And I'll hit control V. And it'll space things out a little bit so it looks nice. And I got actual, you know, pictures in here, so that way you can really fully see uh, how nice this could be. So let me hit. Okay, so let me hit save. And you can kind of see these images here. In fact, let me just not do that. Let me uh, put it on the big screen. And there you have it, folks. Uh, so this is an image slider. It looks really nice. It uh, rotates from picture to picture. Um... I got a little descriptions for everything and, you know, real nice stuff here. So, by all means, if you want to use the code here, you can, you know, copy it, put it inside, uh, make this your own slider. And uh, you might be thinking, well, why would I need a slider? You know, I have WordPress. I can simply just download one, whatever. Well, it's just nice to know how one is done. So that way you understand the coding behind it. Uh, or if you have a personal blog, perhaps maybe you want to put a slider within a regular post somewhere. You know, whereas WordPress, you're not going to have that. So, you know, if you use a code like this, you could put some scripting, you know, some JavaScript in there, and a little bit HTML and CSS, and then you could put your own little uh, image slider in there. So that's kind of nice. So there's lots of uses you can use something like this for. So I hope you guys uh, really learned something from this. I think this was a really fun tutorial for me. And I hope to see you on perhaps another tutorial. I may do a... Uh, image slider using jQuery. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Depends on what, what kind of uh, response I get from these videos. So until next time, this is Travis, and I'll see you then.